Hello again, Storage Chasers. Welcome to part three, or thrace, for those of us who live in the south, way down south. Uh, this is the trailer. We've gotten about uh, halfway into it now, and we're on the third video. We've uh, pulled out a few of the next boxes to go through that'll do up this, uh, you know, hopefully shorter video. And uh, we're going to go through them, show you what we got, and... Uh, get you back on the rest of your day <laughs> all right first box here looked like it was tool so i put it off to the side here and uh yeah that's what it is we've got uh some ryobi we got a palm sander we got a ryobi with a charger battery charger <clears throat> got a ryobi little skill saw battery powered we've got a black and decker chargeable Drill. Oh, it's got a little power. It's got a little power. Got another battery for the Ryobi. And then we've got another drill. Ryobi, which these batteries, I'm going to go with that one. And then we've got, looks like a stud finder. Hopefully, it has a battery in it or something we can test. And then we've got, looks like tools. We've got a whole set of tool thingies here. Very cool. I'm going to leave that in there because I see pieces have already fallen out of the box. we got a cobalt one. Have something in here. I can't get in it. Oh, drill bits. Very cool. Drill bits. Here is uh, a charger. This is probably for the Black & Decker uh, drill here. This is the charger for that. Got some palm sander sand papers. A couple other little... Uh, Bits for your drills, very cool. Here's a micro filtration thing. I don't know what that would go to. I don't have anything here that it goes to. But yeah, that's what we got in this box here. That's, that's actually pretty cool. I actually have this set of uh, of Ryobi's myself, and I also did have the original blue set, the original ones. So I have those. Uh, the original 18 volt batteries didn't last very long. Uh, these ones here didn't last uh, as long. They uh, won't stay charged now. I've charged them so many times and used them. So I had to buy the new set, or I had my daughter bought, actually bought me a new set. Next box. Uh, I'm guessing this is going to be a uh, kid's box. It is. It looks like a preschool toy box threw up into this toolbox, toy box. I mean, it's got the building blocks and all the fake food and pumpkins, baked beans. It's not even a good brand. Um, some animals, a whale, cucumber, milk. Uh, kind of interesting, but not so much. Yeah, a bunch of little silly tools. All right, we got a cool God bless our home sign here. It's uh, got a little bit of a warp to it, but uh, we're going to lay this out over here in the sun. And uh, it's going to get flat, and we're going to hang that on our wall. That's the plan. All right, next, after we get past the, the ginormous ant, all right, got a box here. I have my knife out here too, I just don't have a whip. All right, we've got oh, oh wow. Well, we got some looks like personal paperwork, and then it looks like we've got yeah, we've got their uh, home entertainment system kind of stuff here. Uh, there's a couple of board games, a bunch of music CDs. Uh, maybe a couple of DVDs here too. Yeah, we'll have to go through all this stuff. It's kind of that part's kind of boring. We got to find the exciting stuff. Um, dominoes. That's a big. That's a big set of dominoes. I'm gonna see this. Yep, that's what. It, this is a lot of dominoes in here. Ooh I mean, that's that's a thick stack of them. That's what she said. That'll probably sell pretty good at the flea market, but uh, everything else, I see a couple of loose dominoes, just other uh, 
audio video stuff, some CDs, and a couple of DVDs. So yeah, that's going to be in that one there. Um, somebody's tore up Bible. Put that to a good home. All right, next box. Is we got a big Z Max bag. That's a good heavy duty bag. Probably be able to sell that. That is a heavy duty spoon that says that it is stainless steel. And this looks like it is a stainless steel. That's pretty cool, too. Yep, stainless steel Japan. Good serving spoons, though. A couple of kitchen items, kitchen items. Uh, a ceramic heater box with, uh, yep, it's got a ceramic heater in the box. And just some kitchen junk. Lasagna noodles. Uh, here's some oregano. Hopefully it's oregano. Some uh, black pepper. And, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's what that is. And, uh, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's what that is. Dill, dill will seed me. And these are mustard seed. Yep, I recognize those. And uh, coriander seeds. Of course, everybody knows what those look like. And an ashtray and uh, marjoram. Yeah, we'll see that. Here's a Pegasus flipper. I don't know if that's the name is or not, but yeah. And then, uh, yeah, here's some sanitary wipes. You're going to need those. Miniature flashlight. Kind of a universally plugged thingy. Small pizza cutter. Can opener. Can opener, my babe. Some chili powder. That is some dark chili powder. Probably really good. And it's from Kroger. So, yeah, that's what's in uh, box number four. And we're moving right along here. Get all stuff out the way. And box number four has... Uh, like Tupperware. This is actual. This is actual old school Tupperware. Wow. This stuff might be. This one might have a value to it. I'll have to check that one out online. Um. This is a. Uh, unfortunately, I believe this is a uh, a waterproof flag, but. That is not the way that you treat a flag, so I'm going to be taking care of that and holding it correctly and respecting it correctly. And then we have, we got a cooler. We got a Rubbermaid cooler and it's empty. All right. And it's fairly clean. Uh, we can sell that at the flea market. People like this kind of weird stuff. I like the uh, the Tupperware thing. Uh, we've, had, we've had somebody that had one of these before, or we had one. Oh man, that's going to be pretty cool. That may be a keeper if we don't sell it. <laughs> and a dustpan. And a uh, caddy. Cleaning caddy. Next box. Uh, I'm going to guess that this one's going to be full of DVDs. <laughs> Let's uh, see if they're in there. Wow, they're actually in there. A couple of them. I'll have to go through these, unfortunately, and see which ones I need to add to my collection. But, uh, yeah. They are in there. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, there's probably a good good amount in here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 60. So, yeah. Probably about 140 DVDs in there. So that's almost the price that we paid for the unit if we sell them for a dollar a piece. Uh, next tote. Uh, woo! We got some puzzles. Kids puzzles, kids puzzles, kids puzzles, and puzzles, and puzzles. This is all looks like kids stuff all the way down through here. And that can be exciting for some people, but not for me. I mean, it's animals. I do like, I do like my rubber animals. They're kind of cool. But, uh, yeah, everything else, not so much. I'll look for any Hot Wheels and stuff like that. Anything we can donate to uh, uh, the preschool at the church or something, maybe we'll, we'll look into that. All right, next tote. 
is uh, sewing stuff. Yeah, there's some knitting. There's a knitting needle and some pipe cleaners and some material and for some reason there's a little truck <laughs> and uh, some more crew Pompeii. I don't know what that stuff is, but yeah, this looks like it goes to uh, sewing stuff. Push that off to the side. Next box I'm gonna do. Food. Oh. Some Zatarans. Ooh, red beans and rice. And some couscous. Mmm, gotta have me some couscous. Thin spaghetti. And uh, manicottis. Wow, manicottis. You don't see those too many too often. And here's a whole bunch of flavor packs. Probably really dead and expired. So we'll move on to the next one. Which is uh, some books. We got a plumbing book, and we got a life book. How does it have a year? Uh, 2012. Open. And uh, play guitar today. Play guitar today. All right. And it has a has a CD in it, so I will learn how to play guitar today. How about that? All right. We got some uh, junk, junk, junk. Uh, house wiring. Another electrical, plumbing. Who more pots and pans? Oh, a ginormous cheese gratery thing. Those are fun. What's this here? We've got a tortilla pan set. Ah, okay. So this is how you uh, put the flour tortilla in there and put it in the oven and it makes it the form of a bowl. So that you make an edible bowl. Sounds like it's in there. A couple of pots and pans. Some uh, sink strainers. Everybody knows what this is. If you don't, this is a microwave baking cooker. That's what that is. Every man should know that. Uh, cutting board, a couple of cooling racks. Yep. Maybe some of the pots and pans we can save. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, not too bad. On to the next. Next one, next one. All right, we got an empty box. We got an ugly shoe. And uh, that's uh, some Nike. I don't know if it's worth anything. Here's another Nike. It's a Nike Air. Kind of looks cool, but don't see another one like it. And then there's uh, one of these. And then there's a wingtip. And uh, then there's uh, one of these. That one's seen better days. And then there's one of these. Oh, that's the other one of those. So maybe that uh, uh, Nike Air ones will be worth something, even though they're a little worn. Because I have two of them. <laughs> and. Uh, what else is in here? Some clothes, some personal stuff, some women's undies. We don't need to go through that, I'm sure. What else is in here? Uh, we got real 3D glasses, junk mail, junk mail, um, some perfumey, night magic, evening musk. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, I thought it was a knife. Uh, all right, uh, pump. And a wallet that's empty. And empty, empty, empty. More perfumey polo. Personal, 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 personal. And that is it. All right. So we're going to go through these in uh, greater detail. But you can see we got some personal stuff. We got some dishes, pots and pans. We got kids' toys. Bunch of DVDs here. Bunch of uh, kitchen appliances and stuff and some spices we'll have to throw away we did get the uh, little cooler which will probably sell um, we got in this one we had the CDs and some electronic uh, stuff CDs and a couple of DVDs whole box of kids toys and stuff like that a ceramic heater don't know if uh, if it works we'll test it especially if it's still in the box it's always a good sign and some power tools. We love our power tools, especially if they still work. I may actually keep pieces, parts of it, because I can use them for uh, for my tools. Because I do use Ryobi, and you can't get them out here because at where we're at, there is no Home Depot. There is only Lowe's, and Lowe's does not carry Ryobi. They carry uh, Cobalt and other brands that make them happy. Well, they do carry Craftsman, though. So. All right, so we have uh, gotten some stuff going into the truck we've already taken one load to the dump today from the first two videos that's the rest of it from the first two videos we're gonna make more of a mess out of these here uh, for 
uh, trash, I'm sure. And then we got more to go. So we're just gonna be, keep going. We're just gonna do small, short videos to, to keep you guys going. And uh, uh, I know there is some large furniture in here, so it's not, it looks like there's probably more than there is, but uh, we, we probably have a good uh, three more videos, I would say. So just bear that in mind. And that is it for this video. Thanks for watching part three of the unit video. And we hope that you guys will please like, share, subscribe, comment, all of that good stuff. And as always, we'll talk to you later.